This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and I thought that I would show you how I set up a journal, an art journal for my tatting lessons. I'm going to put little pieces of tatting as I go through and learn different exercises and learn how to do different pieces. I'm going to record them and save them in this little journal. The journal itself is a an old novel, a Western romance novel. We've had a long round, and I just got the text blocks out of it. I'll use that in other projects. For the inside covers, I'm just using plain black cardstock. I use that on both the front and the outside covers. I think that that will make a nice contrast to the white and cream tatting threads. I apply the cardstock with Yes Paste. Yes Paste, Y-E-S Paste, is a book binding paste. I like to use it when I do my journals, when I create my journals, and I apply it with a nice, a nice wide palette knife. You've seen me do this many times. Put it in there, just apply it down, and put my paper on there. Now, I do not show you how I do the other side because it's the same as how I'm doing this side. So I just glue the paper down to the spine. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So it has a nice wide spine, but I don't like the printing on I like the red binding on the outside, but I don't like the printing of the title of the book for my journal. So I will be covering that with some fabric. Trimming off of the excess paper here. Now, I do not bind my pages or my signatures in in this video. You've seen me do that plenty of times before. It's just a Three signatures, black and white, uh, black cardstock folded in half with a pamphlet stitch bound to a piece of fabric. And so I'm just measuring out what I think that I need for fabric, and I'm going through my stash, and I uh, find this piece of green fabric, a green floral that I really do like. There it is, and I'm kind of really happy that it just fits. I cut off this little piece of scrap fabric on the end. Now, I do not fold my fabric over the edges for this journal. I just bring it right to the edge of the book and let the frayed edges show. I kind of like that technique. So I'm really happy with this. And you will be seeing me use this in my next video. Trimming off the edges there. I just thought you might like to see how I create a little journal for tatting. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.